You wanna play some Ashes? I do. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so here's what we're doing today. We are gonna play Ashes, Red Rains, The Corpse of Eurus. Now, as far as I understand it, Red Rains is to signify it is a PvE product line, and Corpse of Eurus is this product within that product line. Okay. That may not be true, but I think that's true. Here, look, it's right here on the box. Red Rains tells me that this is for co-op solo, particularly. Corpse of Viros, deluxe game mode expansion. So your expectation is the next release that we send through the subscription will be Red Rains subtitle Chimera. different. Yeah, pro probably, maybe. Or it'll be, or it'll be a PvP you know, release. Maybe it'll be you know, Blue Rains. But they're, they're calling it Asher's Reborn, Red Rains, The Corpse of Viros. All right. right. So you would imagine the hierarchy then is the game, the mode, the release. I'm in it. Because they're fighting over the red rains and they got the little the little death drops and stuff. Almond butter, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it up for our sponsor, yeah. Almond Butter. If you ever dip an apple you. into some almond butter, dude, it'll change your, your game, I swear. No, Almond Butter, the user out on YouTube, uh, saying y'all are getting handsomer every stream. You just got to call it out when there's kindness in the world. I think Almond Butter is looking for a kickback there because you have engaged in eating almond butter, have you not? Or are you not? Are you not? I you doing have sun butter. Had almond butter. I currently do peanut butter. Oh. That is actually just peanuts ground up. Yeah, yeah. So not none of the uh, preservatives or sugar or oils yeah. or not, you know, stuff. Don't. It's not as good. The peanut butter. Yeah. Well, if I mean anything with less sugar for a while is not as good. But I want that freaking smooth, beautiful I, texture, Zach. Two things. I know I put the peanut butter in things, mm -hmm. so I don't need the texture like in mm. overnight oats. Second is. The things like regular, I had regular peanut butter the other day, just a little bit of it. And I was just like, oh my God. You feel like it was really sweet? Yeah. It like punched me in the face with how sweet yeah. it was. It's like that one time I couldn't even get you to drink a root beer anymore. It would, it's, it's like too I'm much. my friend. I used to love, <laughs> well, this is we so can't that you. can't do any fun together anymore. This is so just... that you have your friend around longer. <laughs> so that you don't lose your friend at 52 to some random. No, man, I'm looking to have my friend for 30 years and then to rebuild. Well, it's like, uh, yeah, it's like a Japanese thing, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know you're eventually going to go. Eat the hamburger, dude. <laughs> I want an overheated friendship, and then I want it gone. Yeah. Well, honestly, that's another thing I think in, in what, now that we're here, Western culture. There's there's this attitude that... Maybe American. All, and that's maybe that's what I mean by Western. We'll see. Depending uh, on what you're about to say, I'll tell you. <laughs> I think there's this attitude of uh, friends are forever. Mm. And, and I think... That's like we aren't good at acknowledging. Like I had friends in college, I was really trying to hold on to for a long time, and then it's like, why are we we doing this? Yeah. It's like uh, if you're around, <laughs> we can have a good time together. But like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we don't yeah, have to totally. feel obligated to like totally. stay in it. And as humans, I don't think we're designed to be as connected to as many people as we are today. Yeah. Like yeah. Tw thirty years ago, would have gone to college with people and then maybe seen them once or twice in my life after that. Yeah. Most of them. And now it's like, well, we can be friends on Facebook, and I can follow you on it. And like, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> like a lot. There's a lot of people around, right? Too many. Yeah, you just kind of have to be practical about it, don't you? Anyways. What we're doing today, we're playing, I'm playing Noah Redmoon with the ceremonial deck included in the Corpse of Bureaus. Zach is playing Aridel Summerguard with the Master Set Precon deck. This is going to look very similar to anybody who's starting to play Ashes PvE with the Master Set and the Corpse of Eros. These are things that you can do right out of the box uh, and follow along with us as we do it. So we can work through some potential rules questions of these new cards, of which, again, I haven't seen very many of them. I've been waiting for this exact moment to do that. Uh, and we can uh, see how the game plays out. Now, we're going to be playing on Heroic to just to see if we can actually be defeated by this Chimera, because so far, uh, we have not been so defeated. if we succeed... That means that we are Ash's gameplay gods. Of course. And if we fail, we have succeeded because we have... Given the people what they want. Well, we have upped the challenge because we're, our experiment is to see if we can make it hard enough to lose. Yeah. So in this way, we it's, have created a win-win scenario. <laughs> this is what I call a win-win. <laughs> a win-win-win because <laughs> if we win... We're great at the game. If we lose, we proved our point, and that everyone out there wins for having experienced it regardless. Just getting, Three wins. getting to be just getting to be here. It's fun for all of us. Let's set up the chimera. I'm gonna start on page six of the rule book. 
uh, again. So for a, this is still new for a lot of folks. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go through it. A classic. We're not gonna blow through it, even though of course we know everything that we're doing here. Uh, I'm gonna center <laughs> this board here. Clearly. Also, anyone who got here, we we said it early, but all corpse of Vero's uh, shipments. Are out the door. Are out the door. And if you're uh, a local pickup person, it'll be available on Friday. Yeah, so it's uh, it's good good times over here. And I think that means most of them will be Friday, Saturday, which should be good for everybody. What is today? Wednesday? Wednesday. It's always yeah. Wednesday when we stream, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> still Wednesday. I shouldn't ask that on stream anymore. <laughs> what day is it? Place the Chimera card that corresponds to the difficulty and player count onto the Chimera board. So I've got Corpse of Eros, Chimera, Heroic Level 1, two players. Those are all true things. There it is. Terrifying. We're going to create stacks of the behavior and ultimate cards. So I've got my ultimate cards here, starting with phase one, two, and then three. Behavior one, two, and three. Then we're going to set the five rage dice to their basic side. They didn't have to include these, you know? <laughs> or the board. Or that cute D12. My favorite. <laughs> it's like a little mini. Gather 18 aspect cards. Multiple options. We're going to take the recommended option. Choose all aspects of the same subtype. Do you want to do Fury or Shadow today? Mm, let's do Fury. Okay. Classic Fury battle. Hmm. I'm going to separate these out into Shadow and Fury. Frank says, everyone watch for guard rolls. Oh, that's, man. That's the hardest thing to remember. We're going to miss it every time. All uh, 50 years of combined TCG experiences. And we can't remember that. <laughs> can't remember a freaking roll. All right, I've got my shadow cards over here. I'm going to set those aside. I don't need those uh, for today's game. We're playing the Fury. Create the starting battlefield by uh, setting up a row of random face-down aspect cards facing each player in an arrangement that matches the starting setup on the Chimera card. So I'm going to look at the starting setup of the Chimera card right here. It's at the very bottom here. It's 1-2-1-1-2. One, two, one, one, two. So I'm going to go... These are pretty randomized, but I'll go ahead and shuffle it on. I should have them in two stacks, like a stack of one and a stack of two, but I'm just going to kind of freestyle it here. Van is in the house. One, We can officially two, begin. One. One. Two. Zach, I'll let you do the same. One, two, one, one, two. Classic video game cheating setup. <laughs> Up, down, left, right, right, left. A, B, A, B. That Aladdin game for Sega was the best. It was so good. It got real hard at the end. For some reason. And that magic carpet level was so hard. It, the the Lion King, did you play Lion King game? All those games are so hard. They were very hard at some point. It's like you randomly get to like level three and all of a sudden it's like, nope. It's like, I'm a child. And no explanation. No, No internet to solve it. Um, these go here. Yeah, that works. Wait, hold on, no. Did you shuffle them up? I did. Yeah, okay. Um, show up the remaining aspect cards. Thank you, Zach, to create a face down draw pile. Uh, and then we're going to put the fatigued card because it's two players. We're going to put it here so that when the Chimera runs out of deck, we'll flip it over. And then if the Chimera runs out of deck again, it's good for us. I'm Probably sure. won't happen unless we're playing like an abundance deck or a mill deck. That means they're fatigued. Yeah. And they will slowly die. They'll slowly die. Die. Yeah, should we you. do, should we try to center this? You think this is the middle of the board, yeah? Yeah. It is. Center this thing. Nothing but the best for all of you. Okay, so says, I think guard rules are so hard to remember because every other function of the Chimera happens on its turn. It's the only Chimera related thing that you actually have to be aware of on your own turn. Yeah. I like the ceremony of it, man. You know, just like setting up the game. I'm, I'm wonky here. See, like I like taking the time to make this look good and then immediately wrecking it. And then totally forgetting about it. For the I, rest I'm of the just like a Zen gardener. <laughs> now it comes full circle. <clears throat> it's my nickname in, in competitive games. The Zen Here Gardner. comes the Zen Gardener. That's definitely accurate. His moves are slow I've, and I've precise. Heard it. On you on stream commentators. Man, have you ever seen the Zen Gardener? He's breathing deeply. <laughs> uh, player should set up his normal following <laughs> Zen rolls in the ashes rule book. <laughs> He must be meditating. <laughs> oh no, he's, he's like, meditating. You get on camera in like middle of the game, you just see Steven do this. He's going into Zazen mode. Or like, he can't be stopped. All right, let's put this uh, nice die up here. 
That looks good. Actually, let's put it here in the pile of dice. It's kind of the way you want it, right? Almond butter. <laughs> what up, new stream sponsor. Don't forget to make your apples taste delicious. <laughs> so Man. Good uh, branding there, Zach. Thank so you. Says quaking in my boots. Don't forget to make your apples taste delicious. Almond butter. <laughs> Wash it down with a nice cold glass of Nalgene water. Where's my bottle? Is it? It's not glass though. Yeah, it is. Specifically. This is looking pretty ragged, honestly. Well, maybe you should uh, do as we said earlier and be at peace, let it go to rest. Pass inside the present. How could that even work? Think about that one. Hmm? Jonathan off screen. I wish that he had a cam on his face when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like the Photoshop kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, every moment of the past is in every present moment, isn't it? Okay, let's uh, set up like normal. So shuffle our cards. Get our. Oh, we got to get our first five. Oh, yeah. no, I don't ever know how to do this well. You already did my it. my first five, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to get all you my summon just stuff. Definitely grab all the summon stuff. But I'm going to figure out how to spend my dice. Um, on the video game cheat code front, for some reason, the uh, cheat code for entering God mode in Twisted Metal has always stuck in my brain. <laughs> Twisted Metal, was that the, the car one? Mm -hmm. Oh, that game was so that good. You had the great. weapons and stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, that game was so good. Yeah, like good. the ice cream truck and the tank. We played a ton of oh, Twisted Metal. So and the other one, Vigilante 7? Vigilante 8. Vigilante, Vigilante 8. Vigilante is the one we played because we're tier 2 people. I freaking yeah. loved Vigilante 8. Oh my gosh. Going like over to the big snowy mountains. And... I had a sick ultimate on whatever I... I I just remember it being so awesome. I think it was like a missile barrage. Like, it just hit everybody on the board. Cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, I've got two ready... three ready spells. So, I think I'm gonna start with those. So no one else playing the ceremonial deck. Maybe you just start with these. It might not be the right choice. It's a good place to start, though. Uh, and I'm going to pull dice on casting cost and casting cost. You know what I'm saying? So like, play the spell and play the cast the spell. So this is going to be a, a knife. Jason Lindley's hand. Heads up, Stephen. Most first fives for this pre-con involve recurring an ally with the ceremony power. Oh, no. Okay, so we'll set aside a ceremony die for the power. And then we'll set aside this, because we'll use a shadow target. Choose a target opponent and place one exhaustion token on an unexhausted ready spell they control. That's so good. It, your water bottle was neither white nor clear when you first started, right? People are asking. Uh, yeah, no, it, was it like wasn't a, clear. It wasn't yeah, clear. It was that like, would be a disaster. Uh, it, was, it was white, though. It was white. Pure white. Yeah. No. Yes, it was. <laughs> it's been in the sun and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's baked. I like to put a nice plastic bottle out of my truck in 100 degree weather, yeah. filled with water, leave it there for a day, and then come in and chug it. There's nothing like some warm water <laughs> on a hot day. <laughs> uh, I think this Calamity Golem is something that I should do. That looks like a good one. I've got to destroy an ally to place it onto the battlefield. That's really good with the blood puppets here. <laughs> well, hold your horses there, everybody. Okay. I've done it. So, you know, you know we have almond butter in the chat. But now we have Cigar Chomp and Sarge okay. saying microplastics for the win. Yeah, definitely. We're all we all like to be made of a little bit of plastic. Okay, but if I'm recurring I'm not I don't want to recur an ally. That's not me. It's not who I am. <laughs> the guy playing the uh, all ceremonial all right, deck. Let's, let me get this. Let's get this. <laughs> Ah, this dark magic stuff isn't for it's me. It's like I'm on all nature. It's like, you know what? I really don't like direct damage at all. <laughs> uh. Okay, here we go. Old Salt is the thing you want to recur, probably. Uh, Dice Hand Entertainment saying, Good evening. Will there be a reprint available through your shop? I missed the order. Yes, uh, we're planning to put those in stock later this week. If you go to the website now and find Red Range, you can sign up for the wait list. And we have plenty of that on the way. Uh, if you get the notice and it sells out, uh, we will have more on the way. Um, and we'll keep doing that until we can't anymore. Whatever that looks like. Okay, so we got to do Calamity Golem, and then we need a one coster that we can throw out and then bring back. It's got to be the Blood Puppeteer, right? And then you cast that twice. I think I think this is how it's supposed to work. Yes, yes, boom, easy. Wait, Done. yes, that's five cards. Good. Done it. 
It's meant to explain is it's always good to know what will end up killing you. Example, microplastics. The thing, I think you were the one that told me about when we we're talking about plastics and recycling and stuff that the uh, problem with like bacteria that eats plastic is that <laughs> everyone has plastic in them at this point. So there's a fear that it would actually just wipe out everybody. That's my fear. I don't know if it's an actual fear. But, I think about that. From but it's just like, yeah, so like a lot of people are like, if we develop a microbe that eats plastic, we can solve all of this non-biodegradable plastic. But then it will eat us. Yeah. I mean, you have to be very careful with that. We won't be, though. Uh, always. <laughs> always. It's like, yeah, but if we're careful, it's like, okay, well, then stop there because we can't do it. It's like uh, right now, AI is just kind of like, we... <laughs> Let's see what this does. Yeah. End of humanity in 30 years. Um, but it'll be, you know, per, as we said earlier, all things must end. All things must end. So That's right. What is life without death? Two sides of the same coin. Well, without they death, come in together and they exist. leave together. Right? It just is. It just is. Thank you, Zach. Right. What's is cold that Bill Clinton or is that Nisargadatta? We'll never know. What's Nisargadatta? <laughs> Nisargadatta. He was one of the gurus. From my, from my studies. Yeah, I don't know about that. I know about Walt Disney, though. Yeah, Steve also, Jobs. you know, it's sort of... Et cetera, et cetera. You ready to do this thing? Oh, sure. All right, let's roll them up. Who's first player? You? Sure. All right, it's you. I'll point it at you. Walk me through it. That's hilarious. Gimmicker saying the bacteria already exists, so either we're doomed or fine. We're just waiting to find out. Oh, well, there you go. How many basics did you have? I have five basics. Nice. Now, there's one part of this that I didn't reveal to you that I'm going to reveal to you now. Oh. We are going to play the Call of the Phoenix two-player variant. Call of the Phoenix. Yes. Players may choose to add an additional tragic element to their encounter. After defeating the Chimera, remove all Chimera components from the play area and roll one Rage die. If the result is a Rage symbol, players will continue playing as a regular PvP Ashes game. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so okay. we don't know that it's going to happen. So if we win, yes. we roll a die. And if it rolls a Rage symbol, then we fight to the death. That's right. Okay, great. But it could not. Because this is, a, what is it, half and half? 50-50? I don't know, man. Uh, looks like 50-50. Like right? It's co-op, man. There's only so much math I do. Have okay. Have you seen that Leroy Jenkins clip? I'm Leroy. Have I seen the Leroy? I was a WoW player for years. That's basically the only WoW I've seen. <laughs> 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 All right, let me get it. Do we need our boards? You got your board. Man, you're mm -hmm. ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. I've been over here. Well, you're having actually reading stuff while I have time to think about it. What are you doing with your setup over here? So... Normally it's up here, but you have the camera angle zoomed out enough that if I do it up here, you can't really see Aradell at all. Yeah, that's true. So I moved it over here, which is natural for me. And then it didn't make any sense for me to do like this or to do the normal this. So I'm basically putting the used dice below her for camera purposes. Okay. And then it leaves me space to like turn without it being awkward for me. And I want my battle line here. But you, each, each their own. You have, you have a lot of reasons. Appreciate that. And all those were thought about while you, we were talking. <laughs> all right, put her dice in a tray or just in a pile to the left. A lot of people move them left to right to show them uh, being used. And then round order, prepare phase, prepare as usual. Battlefield management, of course. Remember now, like ashes, where we put them is important. Left most, et cetera. Well, it doesn't it have to <clears> go <throat> left to right? When you place units, they must be placed to the right of all their units on the battlefield. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it cannot be changed. Position can't be changed, et cetera. Uh, and then we attack the Chimera, we roll the guard die, so don't forget that. Uh, countering is always going to happen if they're unexhausted. They don't exhaust to counter. Blood value of the card equals damage to the, uh, the guy there. 70 has got to be done. And then we do a Chimera turn as long as there's a face-down aspect, roll the dice, and on and on we go. I'll help us walk through it just to make sure that we continue to know the rules, but let's get started by taking main actions and side mm. actions. And nothing's revealed yet. Nothing's revealed, no. All right. Well, I'm going to play a Summon Mist Spirit. Can't see that. That's fine. Um, because I want to be able to play something. 
sooner than later. Okay. Uh, side action doesn't exist for me. Ooh, this is all so interesting, man. These cards are cool. Uh, one of its attack value, if that unit can attack, you may take an attack as you claim the unit. Wow, that's good. That's really good. We've got some side action stuff here. Control is destroyed, place one. Okay, yeah. Uh, Simon says, let me guess, Zach is the warlock and Steven is the priest. Actually, I don't think... Oh, for a while? No. I played a rogue, and then I played a warrior. I didn't play. You didn't play at all. All right, let's play a... Bone Crow, main action. Mm -hmm. And then let's do a side action. Well, it's a summon Bone Crow. Change of transfusion. Yeah. Ooh, looks, can I see that card? You sure can. It looks gross. So, Bone Crow you can only summon as a side action if an ally has left play, or has been destroyed. And then uh, that, when an ally leaves play, gives me a benefit. I didn't even actually read the benefit. I just know that it gives me one. And then I'm going to be able to play That's the Blood you. Puppeteer, and then I'm going to be able to destroy a Blood Puppet with the Calamity Golem, which is going to allow me to summon a Bone Crow, and it's going to be crazy. It's a whole chain. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what happens now? All right, well, we did our main action and our side action, so let's look at what happens now. First, resolve any status abilities. There aren't any. If there are one or more face-down aspects, roll it up. The Chimera will roll, roll one basic Rage die, and then roll the Behavior die, and take the actions indicated on the Chimera Behavior card. All right, we got a basic and a one. Wow, good start, man. Just a reveal. All right, let's see what this thing does. Fire Belly, Fury Aspect, Battlefield, one attack, two life, one blood. Uh, blood being the amount of damage the Chimera takes when we defeat this. Red Wrath 1, when this unit is declared as an attacker, deal damage to all units and Phoenix Born, the opposing player controls. Easy. Great. Now me. Basic and a one, can't do better. I like to get him on the board. Yeah, yeah. You gotta give the Chimera some. What, what, what do you say we're calling him? Randall. Randall. Hmm. Side action. Target opposing player must lower two non-basic die in their active pool. That's a real bummer. Yeah. This Chimera's a pain. Remember, meditation is way better actively because <laughs> they do that. And then reveal. Oh right, right. Yeah. So you don't do the. Mm -hmm. All right. Rampage. At the start of the Chimera's turn, remove one status token from this unit to re-roll all basic rage dice. Yeah. yeah it starts with two. Ugh. All right. Over to us. Over to us. Uh, is, it, is he first player now, or are we? No, no, we stay. You stay until we do the full turn. Oh pass. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play a blood puppeteer as my main action. That's gonna be one die spent. That's gonna bring in a blood puppet on my side, which is bad. But this says, when this unit is destroyed, you may discard a Blood Puppet you control to place a Blood Puppet onto a target opponent's battlefield. Which would be really cool if this slot was open. Think you can do that? And then I'm going to play as a side action, Serve the City. You must protect this house. I need to deal with my thing, because I can't play my Miss Spirits until he's gone. Um, what's this? That's not a good thing for us, right? Actually, I can't play this yet. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to meditate to one, two, because I know that this is not what we're supposed to do, but I have to take a main and a side next turn. Gotcha. And I'm going to meditate one more to, to set this combo wombo up. But you got to get your board going. Yeah. Okay. Oh, blood puppets don't count towards the battlefield limit on them. Good, good, excellent. The combo is going to be complete. You put the blood puppet in play for you or them? It's for me, but then if this thing's destroyed, I can destroy this and put it on the other side of the board. And if there's a blood puppet here, does it fill up one of these slots? No. Apparently not, according to Cast. What's the... Chimera doesn't have a battlefield limit. So you could you could stack a billion blood puppets, and they up just there keep taking damage from them. Yeah, well, they clear at the end of the Chimera turn. Everything clears off the board, mm. the Chimera board. Gotcha. Uh, I'm gonna play Shifting Mist, and then I'm gonna spend a Leaf and use my Aerial ability to do damage here. You did it for real? Yeah. Hey man, cool. And then if, not a, you don't even want to do yours. Uh, he just attacks for one and does one to each of my units. Mm. So I have Mist Spirits that are gonna come out, but I don't want to do that until I have removed this guy, which I will. So I'm going to take some time. How many blood is that? One blood? Yeah. One blood. Did he want it? Didn't it matter? <clears throat> what, do you, what are these baubles for? The red rains. 
Oh, right. The red baubles for the red rains. Uh, well, we, thanks, man. That was a good turn. Appreciate then, that. Then we roll? Yeah, roll up. Uh, I got a rage symbol and a five. What does the five do? Reveal. Attack with revealed aspect. All right. It's a twosie. Defender of this unit will block for the Chimerian Guard for all aspects without the ability. Iron Scales, after it's dealt damage, prevent all but one. Three attack, two life, and it's attacking me. So I'm going to take three unless you have something to send in, in the way. Can I block for I can't block for you, can I? I thought you could. Hmm. It's okay if not. Hmm. It's a risk we took. I'd have to have like a... Yeah, no. No, nothing's happening. Yeah, no. No way. All right. But he's exhausted now. Yeah, that is good, actually. So, fine by me. Players cannot block for each other. Yeah, I, I thought maybe I'm just being really selfish every time I played the game. <laughs> Six, action, reveal, attack with revealed aspect. Fine, mm. frozen fear. Uh, it's going to attack the rightmost. No, it's going to attack the phoenix born, right? Mm-hmm. Is that what that means? Yeah, directly to the face. Huh. Okay. It says frozen. It's 3 3 2. After this unit destroys a unit and opponent controls by attacking, place one exhaustion token on that opponent's target, Phoenix Born. So if I step in the way, it's going to be bad for me. Terrifying one, this unit cannot be blocked or guarded against by units with an attack value of one or less. Well, that's everything I've got. So either. three to the face. Yep. He got us. But he's at least exhausted. But he's exhausted. So it's fine. All fine. Over to us. All right, here's where the money happens. You ready for the money? Um, yes. I'm about to do a play that's going to rock your world. I don't even know what it's going to look like at the end of the turn, but it's going to be just incredible. I believe you. Hmm. Um, well, no, it's about, it's really, how greedy do I want to get? The answer is always yes. I want to get so greedy, but I lose one damage. We're on heroic, so we've got to be careful. Yep. Losing is possible. Huh. Okay, okay, game. This is not easy. Not easy at all. Oh, this is exhausted to you. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think I'm just going to take take what I know. Okay. I'm going to take what I know. And it could be wrong. All right, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to summon a Calamity Golem. Destroy an ally I control to place a Calamity Golem Conjuration onto the battlefield. Place wound tokens on it equal to the printed recovery value of the destroyed ally. So destroy the Blood Puppet, right? Yep. Wound tokens are going to be zero, because it's a recover zero unit. I'm going to get... Where's my stack? Blood Puppet. Where? I did a blood puppet. Oh, gosh, yeah. There it is. Okay, we're going to get a Calamity Golem. <laughs> there it is. Look at that guy. It's When it's declared as an attacker, deal damage to a target unit and opponent controls equal to the number of wound tokens on this unit. Oh, maybe I want to. Maybe I want some wounds. Nah, he'll find a way to take wounds. He will find a way. Yeah, value. Then, as a side action, if a unit was destroyed, uh, or first, after an ally I control is destroyed, place a status token on this spell. And then I can take uh, a, an action or a main to remove a status to move one wound from a target unit onto another target unit. So yes. that could be handy. And then summon Bone Crow side action. Exhaust. Here we go. Die. If a unit was destroyed this turn, did I destroy a unit? It says destroy, right? Chaos Theory says, unfortunately, you cannot sacrifice the Blood Puppet. It's got to be an ally. And Blood Puppet. Oh, it's a conjuration. Yeah, yeah. So we do the, that thing. But then that makes the Blood Puppet go here which is still okay. It says, when this unit is destroyed, you may discard a Blood Puppet you control to place a Blood Puppet onto a target opponent's battlefield. Okay. So that feels good. 
And then I get to summon a Bone Crow as well. And did the thing have a recovery that the guy would actually take? It would take one, one wound, yeah. And what's a Bone Crow do? When this unit is declared as an attacker, add one to its attack value for the remainder of the turn if it's targeting a card with a wound token on it. Mm. Just two one. If, if it's it smells blood. Token. Yeah, yeah. All right, I will play cool. a summon blue jaguar, and we're not afraid of what's on the table, so we will just let it keep rolling for now. Yeah. All right, roll them up. Roll them up. More rage. Number two. Number two. Reveal. Good roll. Keep those up. Ooh, more rage though. Whiplash. When it comes into play, destroy the opposing player's target leftmost unit with one or more wound tokens on it. If you cannot deal the damage to the target player's leftmost unit. <laughs> you can't do any of it. The genius thing here is just don't play any units just, and they can't do anything. Well, we're just dirtling. Like normal. Yeah, just have classic Ashes Dirtle. You just gotta wait until you've seen their hand and then you can unload. Classic Ashes Dirtle there. Yeah. Alright, let's not get the rage here. No rage. No rage. Yeah, or yeah. a rage. So what happens with five rage? We add a uh, add a red rains. Don't get to five. And we should roll. And then basic them up. Basic. Yeah. Eight. Target opposing player must lower. I've only got basic die, Zach. Boom. We've rigged the system. <laughs> and then reveal. <laughs> Who's laughing now? At the start of the Khmer's turn, remove a status to reroll all basic rage dice. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Nobody's scared. Gonna need to deal with that. I can deal with that. Thousand ways from a thousand. This bone curve is not as good as I want it to be. One life, really? You give me one life on that thing? Add one to his for the remainder of the turn if it's target for a card with any wound tokens on it. Why? I don't have wound tokens on anything. Well, just wait. You will. <laughs> Are they going to have ready spells? What is this? What is even Noah's ability going to do here? What's it say? Choose a target opponent and place an exhaustion token on an unexhausted ready spell they control. Where is it? You have a ready spell? Can I put it on you? What would you use that for? There's something you can do with that. I know. Do I just put it on the Chimera? Am I going to have to read that rule book? Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. KJ3 Grim. Afternoon all. How's the game going? Uh, Chimera's ultimate is a ready spell. Wait a minute. So, does that increase? I think it would need an additional bobble to go at that point. Uh, if there are either uh, ultimate value resolve, you know, discard all cards. Increase the mirror's ultimate by one for each exhaustion token on the card. Sweet. Whoo! Okay, our turn? Yeah. Hmm. Um, I, let me see what I need left to do this, I need that, and that, and that. Hmm. Other than that, it doesn't matter. Okay, I will, I forgot I can use wolves to take those dice down. Oh, you can. Can you? You Is can. Is it one wolf for one die, or two dice? One wolf lowers two dice, one rank. Yeah. That's sick. Mm-hmm. I could have, I could have helped. That's sick. Not used to that illusionist, you know. Yeah. Okay, so I am gonna summon a blue jaguar. Hmm. Using two basics. Mm -hmm. I can kill this easily with the bone crow. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to attack. I'm just getting some on the table, and then I'm gonna give him some root armor. Didn't you get gaze? Oh, it's just an attacker. I thought it was when it came into play. I love those blue jaguars, man. I'm just declared as an attacker. I love them. Dude, I'm about, I'm about to while out here. Oh my gosh. Huh. Okay. Wh which, um, which unit do you think is the worst? To Macon. Just curious, will, will local pickup be available Friday for since subs got shipped as right. That's correct. What did you say? Me? Uh, which one of these units is is least are you least happy with? Um, you know what, dude? It doesn't matter. They're both gone. Okay, great. This is the most problematic because when he attacks, he does one to everything. So I can't play my Miss Spirits. Yeah, because he would just clear them. We, dude, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, now the question we have to ask ourselves is this. Uh huh. 
It is this, of course. David's saying, I'm crazy out of the loop on this particular game. Is this solo co-op available for purchase now as a standalone product, or would I have to get it via TC or dot, dot, dot? So there's a couple ways to get it. This Let's just talk about it's coming out this week. Um, Plaid Hat has a bundle on their website for a course, a master set, plus the Corpse of Viros, which is the uh, co-op, this that. co-op solo version of the game. So if you buy that, that's all you need. And we're actually playing only with cards that you would get in that bundle. So I have a deck from the master set, and Steven has the deck of cards from the Corpse of Viros itself. Um, then past that, there's a ton of expansions you can get from Plat Hat. You can also sign up for a subscription to automatically get future things from us. And uh, it's a unique setup. We have what's called player-driven production. As long as there's a minimum number of people signed up for that subscription, this game is going to keep getting made. Current expectation is the next couple of releases at least will be more... Uh, expansions like Corpse of Vero. So yeah. it'll have a campaign component and they have these aspects that can kind of be switched out and mixed and matched. And then also have a playable deck uh, on the other side. If I were brand new, I would go to the Plat Hat website and get the bundle and then subscribe to the subscription so that the game keeps getting made and you keep getting expansions. If I already had the master set, I would buy the Corpse of Viros off of our website, which will be on release. So Friday, those should go live, and we'll have some in stock. And if they sell out, we'll have more waves that'll come in in stock as we go. So those are uh, your options. Dave's saying, gotcha, I have the core set and some extra products, so is it possible to buy just this standalone? There it is. Yeah, there, there it is. We'll have it in stock on the website later this week. And you can, on Friday. You can go now to sign up to be notified when that's in stock uh, on the wait list. And then if that happens to sell out before you buy it, we're going to have more in very soon. All right, check this power play out. Power play. Also, this game existing is a miracle. <laughs> the co-op version of this is, I still am blown away. I cannot believe this functions even halfway decently, let alone phenomenally. <laughs> Designed midway through the PvP existence, right? It's crazy. It's just nuts. Sorry, go ahead. It's good, though. All right. Calamity Golem, we're going to make a choice. We can attack Rampage, which is probably correct. Mm -hmm. We like could that. also clear Frozen Fear and take no damage, because we're doing three. Thoughts? When he attacks, he's going to do one to mm -hmm. something else, mm -hmm. which is going to be that Whiplash, and then my Bone Core is going to take out the Fire Belly. You can only do one of those this turn. Right. But it, it will happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. The proverbial happening. Yeah. Um, I I think it makes more sense to clear here. Yeah. Because the ability Could. and also it this can't attack you this turn. Yeah. If we can deal with this by the end of this turn, it, it doesn't really matter. Can you, though? I've only got one card left. I won't be able to do anything against that thing. I will have... World of pure imagination. Now, if I can get but one wound on it, the Bone Crow can come in next turn and get it. Yeah. I will have five or six total damage coming. Mm-hmm. Know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. But I don't know where all that's going to have to apply. Did we miss a guard roll already? Have we killed anything? You no, you water blasted. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We will miss them, though. Luckily, it's a co-op game, and nobody has to watch us play it. We can just play it in the comfort of our own home. Yeah, without anyone judging us. <laughs> without anybody judging us. <laughs> Glammy to Golem is going to attack uh, Rampage. And now we're going to roll a guard roll to see if the Chimera steps in. Eight plus, right? Mm, I thought it was nine, 10, 11, 12. Over eight? Or is it eight as well? No, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think it is, because 25% chance. Or did I do that wrong? 33% chance. Yeah. I did it wrong the last time, too. <laughs> it feels like a quarter, because it's like 12 divided by 4, yeah, but no, it's divided by 3. Okay. So I'm fine. Uh, as far as I can... I'm Am I going to have to get to the book? All right, I'll get to the book. Gas says 9+. plus. Okay, 9+. plus. Look at that. I knew the rule. What is this? You actually know that, yeah, you're, you're way more comfortable than I am with these still. One... Well, I, did, I played it more recently and played it solo without anyone else to... Like, Distract I had to you? know the rules. Yeah, when you can stay there, buddy. Thing, no one to help me. Like, I just had to know it, actually. that I was by myself executing it. When I declare it as an attacker, do a damage to target unit and opponent controls equal to the number of wound tokens, which is one. Let's do one of the fire belly. Is that your biggest problem? He's, he's got two lives. 
All right, this one. Yeah, just take him out. Uh, you want to do one more damage to the? I sure do. Randall. I like that. I like him having a name. Other than the corpse of Vera. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, and then as a side action. Side action, I'm going to use my chant of transfusion. Remove a status token. Activate it. And I'm going to move one wound token. Ooh, Fire belly. I see. That's good. If he attacks, I'll block it and he'll go away. Now, what I could also do is I could move one wound token here, and then Bone Crow could hit this guy. Yeah, you should do that. Should we do that? Mm -hmm. You happier with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Surely that won't go wrong. What could go wrong? Uh, roll time? Yeah. Did you do anything that turn? I summoned the Jaguar and put the thing Oh, on. you did. Wow, that feels like a thousand years ago. Yeah, that was this turn. A rage and a nine. Nine says, lower two dice. And then reveal. Joke's on you. <laughs> Surely you didn't need those, right? I didn't, actually. And I have my shifting mist. Uh-huh. Whiplash. Comes into play, destroy the... Opposing player's target left most unit with one or more wounds if it cannot deal damage. Prevent his armor one, it prevents the damage. Are you serious? Yeah. Deal one to my left most unit, but then he just cancels it. Interesting. Very good. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. That's why I didn't haven't been doing anything. I've just Ooh. been playing cards. The Yahtzee here. I'm really good at just crushing us. Yeah. Well, he's about to be out of stuff, though, and then we just get to do our thing. Raise a basic rage dial on level. Don't like that. One ounce. And then reveal. Uh, X Flesh and Blood X. What's up? Uh, saying, stoke the Vegas Bros. There's a whole group of, like, ten Vegas fab players that are getting the ashes. Really? And Wonderful. Here on this. He says, ten competitive gamers all wanting to take the throne. Uh, yeah, super cool. If it's uh, if it's Vegas, then they could put some money on the game. Always. Dean, you have that real Red Rains I mean, variant where there's a hundred dollar bill in the middle, that's right. and then the last one. <laughs> the real Red Rains, Rains begin. That's right. Uh, I mean, is it even gaming in Vegas if there's not money on the line? <laughs> I don't think it counts. I don't know. All right, this is fine. Everything's fine. I'm feeling good about this. Okay. Uh, so my main action is going to be pretty simple. So I'll go ahead and take that. I'm going to Bone Crow into Frozen Fear. It's going to do an extra damage because it's wounded. That's going to take Frozen Fear out, and it's going to give me two damage, changing three into five. Love it. Then I have a side action. I'm going to go ahead and just get it done. Um, I'm going to meditate up, and I'm going to play... I'm going to meditate, and then I'll play the Blood Puppeteer. What's my Battlefield 7? And then... Blood Puppeteer, I will destroy on the altar of Fire Belly. Okay. So I'm going to roll two dice up with a double meditation here. Ooh, wait. What if this guy is what I need to play? Ray Clark says guard roll. Where? Oh, right. Dang. Come on, Bone Crow. It's all fine. It's all we, fine. We good. It's we all good. fine. <laughs> Uh, so raise one, and then we'll raise one more. What what happens with the units we don't remove from play at the end of the round? What's the penalty we suffer for that? For everyone that's in play, I think we I think I think something happens bad. Is a blood token? Maybe maybe. I can look that up. You want to look that up? Just asking for a team of lovely lads that might not clear the board. <laughs> <laughs> they don't just stay there? Are you serious? I don't, I don't they, know. They definitely don't. They wipe, for sure. Let's see what happens. Let's just take a look. Uh, place one Red Rains token on the Chimera for each aspect in play, yeah. resolving the ultimate if able. Oof! Oof. Don't, don't, don't want that. Uh, might as play simple as well. I'm going to play Summon Butterfly Monk, and then I'm going to use my Shifting Mist, and we're going to change these to frogs. Just waiting out this this guy, this Randall guy. Huh. Okay. So so you see what you're trying to do. You're trying to build these blood puppets up, and then they get really, and then they get to serve the city, and then they get they can attack. Then 
Okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Ready for rolls? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh-oh. Roll them up. Rage and 11. What's an 11, dude? That's a raise a basic die. So go ahead and change them all to basics. We get another red rains. It's rain and, rain and blood. And then you will reveal, your final reveal. And this means he doesn't roll after this, right? That's right, it'll just start attacking. The left, left thing right. will attack me. Yeah. Iron Scales. Defender will block for the Chimera and guard for aspects without this ability. Can only take one damage per attack. Mm. Or per instance of damage. I think I've got an answer to that. Excellent. Lots of ones. I feel like I have lots of ones in here. Let's we just can't. keep rolling. Wheel them and deal them, man. Just can't stop it. Wheel them and deal them for uh, attack if able, if not reveal. So Rampage is going to attack. And actually, at the start of the turn, we should have removed one. Should we punish ourselves by doing it now? What's it say? Start of the turn, uh, remove one status token from this unit to reroll all basic rage dice. Uh, well, it would have been only one of them. There were two. Mm -hmm. It technically should have rerolled both of them mm -hmm. before I escalated it. So yeah, let's so roll, roll, roll them both. Yeah. One rage, okay. so then we'll basically get one more rage. One now. additional rage. Okay. Got it. And then Rampage is going to attack. It's two, and it attacks my rightmost unit, if I recall correctly. Right? I think that's right. They match up. They attack your rightmost. Okay, Meta attacks. It declares one attacker. Oh, it says another thing, right? Rightmost, right there in the claw. Yeah. yeah. The claw! <laughs> Bone Krogon, reasonable trade. You'll love to see it. And I don't have a reveal. So. There's that. Easy mode. Okay. okay. Bum, 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 bum. So I think what I'm going to do. Dang, it's a side action. Dang. I have too many side actions. I didn't sequence well. Do we both have to pass to get punished? Yes. Both have to pass. I think so, yeah. And I've got actions for days. If you take a pass main action while there are one or more face down aspect cards in the opposing battlefield, the Chimera raises one basic rage die one level. If you take a pass action, which I will have to do this turn. That's every time you pass? Yeah. And the Chimera has a face down? Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah. Well, bummer. Um, my Jaguar. Let me make sure. I'm I may right. not have to pass. I'll play that. I'll play that ally right away. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is exactly what's supposed to happen. Okay. Uh, my Jaguar is going to punch here. Guard roll. Oh yeah. No. Da 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 da. -da. Got him. Uh, and then I don't take any damage because I've got armor. You must be a cool guy. He's a cool cat. Uh, then I'm going to use a frog to do a damage here. So he'll go away, and we'll do one damage to our friend Randall. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it, yeah. I'm going to do my original plan. All right, so we'll use the ceremonial ability to get a ally back in my hand. Take a damage. Then we'll take a main action. Summon the Blood Puppeteer. Yes. The Blood Puppet. Just hopefully soak some garbage. Okay. Uh, end of our turn? End of our turn, yeah. I don't roll because I don't have any face downs, but you do. You still take an attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this guy will attack here. I prevent one damage, take one. It's like you saw that coming. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Smart. Three and a basic, that's the best roll I've had all day. Uh, attack, if able, if not reveal. I cannot attack because this is exhausted. Reveal a frozen fear after it destroys a unit. Uh, place an exhaustion on the target Phoenix Oh, you one. know what? What's up? I can't do what I did because he's got Defender. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Let's roll this. Let me think about this for a second. Uh, instead, 
I will attack here. Okay, now then I die. Instead, I'll use the nature die to do damage here. And then I will still attack here. And then instead of this guy attacking me. This will still defend the attack though, yeah? Oh, that's right, that's right. So let's not do that. Hold on. Your Jaguar is gone, man. There's, I'm not going to allow it. Uh, instead, I'll <laughs> use my side action to do damage here. Fine. And then I'm going to summon with two basics. No, because it'll just die. Because that guy's going to attack me. Yeah. So. You got armor one, though. That's fine, right? Well, I need to take an action that's not just going to get someone taken off the board. Mm hmm. So I think I just have to lose the Jaguar. Can you just. Oh, you know what? I, his ability. I can make it where he doesn't defend. Oh. Um, so, yeah. Case, so everything I did is correct. Do you exhaust it, or do you just say you can't defend? You just can't defend. Hey, Jaguar shows some value. Yeah. Serious value. Cool. All right, summon Blood Puppet here. Summon Blood Puppet. Go to the Chimera. We did the thing. Frozen Fear is revealed because it couldn't attack, and it's back to us. Okay. Um, on my turn, I will... We built this city. I will... Summon a butterfly monk, and then I will meditate into uh, wolf. Okay, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and meditate again into a frog. I'm gonna get a little greedy here. Okay, I mean, so the first turn favors the chimera. Because we're putting a bunch of setup cards down. Mm -hmm. and then I definitely want to set up. Ideally, in the next turn, we're already set up, but also have some value still on the table. Yeah. Mm. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Dang, man. <sighs> no way. There's too many side actions in this deck. It's a total pain. Okay, let's do a uh, <laughs> meditate. Mm, you've been meditating a lot. But it makes sense with ceremony, right? Because you want to get allies in the, the dig. That's not what I'm doing. I'm doing it because all my stuff costs money. I don't have. Pay him. Uh, let's play a serve the city. Oh, but I can't do that yet. Right. And then I take a main action. Side action, meditate, main action. Blood puppeteer, one into something. Um, I... You mean iron scales? Yeah. Get that rocking? You want to go and take out Whiplash now? Or what do you think? Uh, well, if you do the exhausted thing, you don't get hit back, right? Correct. But I do want this thing to die so this blood puppet goes here. Oh, well then, yeah, this is great. All right. We'll throw that in iron scales. We'll see if there's a defender now, roll, though. Does he counter? Yeah, he's unexhausted. But he doesn't exhaust the counter. Hmm. They always counter until they're exhausted. No guard roll. Blood Puppet. So you're doing one here. Gone. That puts a Blood Puppet in there. One happens there. We've taken a main and a side. Okay. Then their turn. Their turn. No roll in because we're fully revealed. That's right. This guy's going to attack my rightmost unit, but I'm going to unit guard it. Mm -hmm. So I'll do one to it. It'll destroy me. So this will go away and do two damage to the Chimera. Love it. And then when this leaves play, I can remove a wound token from a target unit or Phoenix Born. Um... I'm just going to go ahead and remove one from my Phoenix Born, as much as I kind of want to clear that Jaguar just for my own. Apparently Defender does not trigger Guard. So that's good to know. You know, If you attack into a Defender, you know, the Chimera doesn't guard it. That makes it easier for us. Yeah. I could see where if the Chimera kept guarding the Defender, it was like you an could impossible board state. Yeah. Um, then your thing? Frozen Fear is going to attack three to face, um, which I'll be taking. Yeah. Sometimes that's the beats. I have four. I need to go to seven. State it. Do the math. State yeah, it. Yeah, just you know, you gotta put it on the on the <laughs> table there. All right, back to us. Yeah. All right, I'm going to summon here. Pay an extra basic, and we're gonna get two mist spirits. Love it. And now it's the cleanup crew coming in. Yeah. Then my side action. 
I'm gonna use the frog to do one of this thing. The ever living frog. Yeah. <laughs> Frogs out. Uh, that's my turn. Summon in side action. Serve the city side action. Didn't the thing attack you? Yeah, it did. It's so we're free and clear. Yeah, deal the damage to an unexhausted unit you control to add one to its attack value for the remainder of the turn. If it can attack, you can attack with it immediately. I wish I'd had this out whenever things were happening. Uh, and then I'm going to have to pass, but there's no face down aspect, so not mm. a big deal. This would have happened. The unexhaustible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that true? Yeah, yeah roll them up. All these? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Yahtzee. Oh, man. Cool. Great job. Thanks for that. It's a one and eight that that would happen. It's not that great. And then coming back around just on cleanup, I'm just going to do a side action to add an exhaustion token here. Mm -hmm. Wait, does that stick? Or will it remove? No, because already spells remove one at the start of the thing. Dang, I wasted a die for real. Do you want to stand like an ally out of your discard pile? Yeah, I guess so. But it's, I mean, I guess that is a damage to you. Hmm. Yeah, that's no good. It's well, inefficient. It's, it's worthwhile because you're going to have two units left. So you're going to get two more red rains, so it won't advance because there's an exhaustion on it. Right. Nailed it. Are you not going to have any? I'm going to clear those, yeah. Oh, cool guy. Yeah. And I got rid of one of your units, so... I'm not saying who's bringing more value to the table, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they can't do anything, I can't do it. I can basically do one and one. Yeah, yeah I'm passing around, so you can do whatever you want. So uh, you want to add three blood damage? One blood. Going to 11. You remove a red rain token when you remove the exhaustion. Hey, did you... Wait, guard rolls, buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You stop. Uh, hold so the horses. First one... We'll go here first because I want to get him off the table. Oh, Successful. Success. Man, so and fortunate. This one doesn't uh -huh. matter. So he's got one damage and he was exhausted. Probably couldn't have one damage if he's got one life there. Oh, yeah. yeah. The other one had one damage. But you sent uh, one to the Chimera. That's yeah. worth something. But now we're going to Red Reigns out. Are we really? Thomas Morton, long time oh. catching you live. Been out of touch, but finally settling into a new condo. Well, hey, congratulations. Glad to hear life's calming down for you and happy to have you here. Now, wait a minute. So what you're saying is it's going to go to six, which is what it needs per this token. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to clear all the red rains. But if it was a seven, it would still have one left over. It wouldn't disappear. Yeah, true. So the exhaustion is still saving it's us still a red doing rain. Something. Yeah. Still doing something. Okay, are we done? Have we cleared it? We're done. We're ready. Okay. So let's go ahead and run through the official recovery phase. Uh, recover as normal, et cetera, et cetera. Actually, let's do the, the Chimera finale. Attacking the Chimera, player turns. Okay, recovery. Uh, recover as normal. Okay, remove exhaustion from everything. Here. Before removing exhaustion token, remove one red rain token from the Chimera for each exhaustion token on the card. Same effect. Exhaust dice as normal. Roll them up. You say hi to Thomas? I did, yeah. You see that name in the chat again, isn't it? Long time. Thanks for the reminder on... The roll in the guard rolls Ray. Wouldn't have been. Yeah, we've seen a guard alarm. <laughs> a button. <laughs> I guess Ray is the guard alarm. <laughs> Place red reins on the Chimera for each aspect and play resolving the ultimate card if applicable. We will. Oh, you're about to get roasted too. Uh, one, two, three. Uh -huh. So we're going to go one, two, three. They're going to clear because the ultimate value is five. And then what are we going to do? Resolve the ultimate. Resolve the following. Remove red rain tokens equal to its ultimate value. Discard all cards in the Chimera's battlefield that it does not own. Oh, these? Wait, is this the end of the round? Did we end of the round yet? Yeah, we did. At the end of the round. Okay, so then the, he takes two damage from those guys. Yeah. Right? Surely. It doesn't ultimate them. No, no, it doesn't. No, it, no, it doesn't. They cancel entirely. We haven't ended the round yet. 
when they're on after the recovery. So how does this work? Is it because the ultimate's fire? It's because the ultimate's roasting mm. them. Mm. Okay. Uh, Chaos Theory says the blood puppets will trigger before the ultimate. I think at the start of the end around a phase, which is where we're at, that's when the ultimate's happening. It says after placing red range tokens on the Chimera, if there are tokens equal to or greater, resolve the following. Remove red range tokens. Discard all cards in the Chimera's battlefield that it does not own. Deal one damage to all units and Phoenix born the Chimera's opponent's control. That's not fun. One. Get your Phoenix born too. One. Remove this card and the top behavior card from the game. Chimera bad. And see, we haven't hit the end of the round yet. Interesting. Then we replenish aspects and statuses. So we don't discard these. We haven't yet. I'm just I'm just following the rules here. Yeah, Ray is correct. So it would clear the puppets before. Cool. On that for absolutely nothing. We're not gonna win now. There's no way. It's too inefficient. I believe. Awful. Uh, alternate between battlefields one card at a time, starting with the battlefield opposing the first player, or the player the first player token is pointing to. Replenish status tokens for the aspects. Now it's the end of the round. First player token passes to the Chimera. When the first player token is passed, pointed to the player who did not have it, et cetera, et cetera. So it's coming to me next. Uh, and that's it. So, uh, yeah. Two blood puppets did nothing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool. We got this. And I'll draw my cards. I mean, so you have, you start with two of your three cards revealed. Didn't these status tokens clear? They replenish. Really? Yep. Son of a gun. That's what the green box means. Nick Conley, the man, the myth, the legend, and the house. What's up, Nick? Wow, and I've got these dumb multiple summon spells in my hand. Get bodies on the table, man. Use them and lose but like, them. I, I got three bone crows to play. I've got to play them every time an ally's destroyed. How many times I got to set that up, Nick? Actually, this is fine. I'm kind of like built to do that exactly I'm right now. I'm glad that you're over it now. <laughs> I'm glad we got there, man. That guy's got to go. I don't, I don't want those rerolls happening again. I can take care of that. But can you efficiently take care of it? Yeah, pretty efficiently. Like, like I can kill Whiplash and kill Rampage and take two damage here. It's pretty nice. Pretty efficient. Mm -hmm. And it keeps me from just like getting bamboozled and this guy randomly dying. Yeah. Okay. All of those things I like. Let's see if there's anything we need to do to make it cooler though. We could serve the city to go to four attack, but we don't need that. We'll take out we'll take out frozen fear and then hit whiplash. There's your Oh uh, no, no do do this. Mm, but that's a main action. A Nick Collins saying the stream setup's looking good. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> Flesh and Blood saying, watching this makes me think I didn't play as thoroughly as I thought I did yesterday. That's the story of co-op games. It's fine. All right, I can take out this and this right now. If you but will it. I do but will it. Okay. Do but. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna be, We're going to be awesome. Serve the city. I'm going to use a main action. Deal the damage to an unexhausted unit I control. It's going to be the Calamity Golem. Mm -hmm. Then, if it can attack, you can take an attack action declaring that unit as the only attacker. We're going to declare it into Frozen Fear for three. Love it. When it's declared, deal damage to target unit and opponent controls equal to the number of wound Ooh, tokens hold on the this phone, unit. Hold the phone. What's up? Chimera's first player this turn. Oh, God. Right? Because it's first player? Yeah, but it just doesn't feel like it should ever go first. I mean... We're the heroes here. Yeah, we're losing. Come on, man. A 10 and a rage. That's, I cannot miss. It's going to be awesome. So raise two basic rage dice one level for your where, trouble there and go in and reveal a card. There. Where was this luck when I was playing basketball? Firebelly. <laughs> Once the clear, I do one to everything I control. Fine. I'll kill I can them. kill that instead of the rampage if you'd rather. Oh, wait. Hold on. Before rampage you even triggers. Do, hold on. Before oh, you yeah, even back do all this, back it up, 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 back it in. And you got to reroll that 10, too. I yeah, think. of course. Completely, yeah, of course. Completely yeah, you do this. I've been on fire. You need to roll something else. Now, where did those two come from? They were left over from last time. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. 
You didn't tell me to change this. No, 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 because you rolled one and then you put two on the board. I think it was empty. Because you put three on the board just from your roll. You rolled one. Just and now? Then you rolled the raise two basic guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll them up. That rampage is not a good thing to leave on the board. I didn't exactly leave it on the board. Uh, you did not. What is this attitude? Okay, two. Aren't we supposed to be cooperating? Why can't we just, you know? All right, now let me Support each other. <laughs> Forget about all that. I just want to roll. All right, we got a basic and an eight. What's a basic and an eight? Basic here? eight. Deal one damage to the opposing players, target Phoenix Born, and then reveal a card. Easy. Easy. How are you? Look at that. That's how you roll the dice, my friend. Basic and a three. Three. Attack if able, if not reveal. Leftmost? Wait, wait. Should... You, this is... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it backwards because I'm on the other side of the table. All right, Rampage is going to attack the rightmost unit. That's actually fantastic. Attacks the Calamity Golem. Wait. As long as it doesn't get you, then that's great. But it's not an optional... I can either counter or not by exhausting. I'll just take two. Yeah, but now you can really blow some things up. Yeah, but I blow myself up in the process. Oh, yeah, well, you just punch a like a one attack. That's a good one. And then you get rid of something bigger for free yeah. without losing your unit. Yeah. For now. For now. All right, now it's over to us. Yeah, yeah now we get to go. Eyes clear, hearts ready. <laughs> Eyes with pride. <laughs> Why Wings Come? I am so hyped to get this. I am so excited to see all so the hyped for you to get it. people posting about receiving this. Hey, if you're watching this <laughs> and you receive this product in the mail this week, post in the Discord, please. I just want to I want to feel the excitement. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhyme. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? It's from that movie, in case you're curious. Remember what, that? What's what movie? Feel the uh, rhythm, feel the rhyme? Is that a movie? Cool rhymes. That's Feel the Rhythm, Feel the Rhyme? Something, something. It's bobsled time. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. That's what they say. They, I say that so thing. much. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just got to get the Calamity Golem in the party. And then we've got really no other side action except for Meditates available, which is nice because I've been tired of all these side actions I've got to try to churn out. Now we could try to get greedy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm listening. Like we could wait for a big thing to come out. Like and the then two, I could get like a two bloods, yeah. three, three. Yeah. Like swing for three, do three. Yeah. I, I agree with that. As a possibility or as something that should actively as be? As a smart decision. But I don't have another Calamity Golem su summoning card in my hand. So getting this guy to the next turn would also be a lot of value. He'd probably come in at like four, three or four. And then he could roast. Assuming he doesn't get roasted. A big turkey. Yeah, but I can step in the way of him at least once. And we haven't seen any left attackers. Okay. They probably don't exist. Yeah, definitely. Let's just go now. Let's go Calamity Golem into Firebelly. Okay. And he's declared as an attacker, Frozen Fears off the board. All right. So guard roll first. This is going to happen no matter what. Yeah. So that's a de declaration thing. Uh, one here, and then I need one more. One. Uh, man, we really spread them out, didn't we? One. You know, I'm just going to convert this. 14. Yeah, you got to do 20. Or you want this thing? I'll do it my way. Fine. It's a cooperative game. Uh-huh. 14. We know what happens at the very end of this game. Oh, I've got an eye on it a little bit. Yeah. I'm just hoping you run out of cards with all this meditation you're doing. Goes through. Got him. If it hits, it ships. So, blood one. Boom. 15 of 70. So, we're basically halfway there. Uh, and then, over to you. <clears throat> one, two, three. Okay. Four or five. Let's go. 
I may, hold on, I may get an ally, one second. Yeah, I'm gonna get an ally. I'm gonna side action, turn these into frogs. Take one. Uh, main action. I'm hurting, man, I'm like nine of 16, it's crazy. Yeah, I'd recommend taking less damage. It's cool, 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 cooperative game, cooperative game. Uh. I'm gonna play another copy of Summon Miss Spirit. I'm gonna contribute. That's gonna be my turn at the end of the turn. You ready to do your thing? N yes, I golemed it. We ready to roll? We're ready, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get on, on with it. Good roll. Seven and a basic. Good roll. Seven and a basic. Deal the damage to the opposing player's target, Phoenix Born, and then right. reveal. <laughs> I'm playing a burn deck. Uh, hunting Instinct. <laughs> After this unit destroys the unit opponent controls by attacking, place a red range token on the Chimera for attack. That's where that golem would have been. Good. It would have been great. Yeah. We made our choices. We did. Look at these basics coming up. Let's go. Five, reveal, attack with reveal aspect. It's a one. Nobody cares. Ooh, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Hey, it's a good thing we attacked with them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So we were geniuses. Yes. But if we hadn't attacked with them, he'd still just be at four because I wouldn't have taken damage mm -hmm. in response. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it's fine. I've got an idea. And then two to the face. Jason says, you guys are around in the corner a little bit, da, 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 but you've also taken a solid amount of damage. Doesn't feel like I'm around in the corner at all. I feel like we are. All right. Over to us? Yeah, given that I have nothing on the board. I can kill that Whiplash. You can do one damage. Yes, exactly. Well, perhaps instead of killing Whiplash, I should use my ability to do two here, and then you should use whatever you're doing to... I can is, do that. Is your one definite or maybe? Definite. Because I this guy it's is a, definite. a monster. All right, I'm going to use my Leaf ability. Two damage to the hippopotamus thing. You think that was like a hippopotamus? Yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna play um, summon butterfly monk here. I can see that actually, <laughs> just from a glance. I mean, he's got a big mouth. <laughs> Hippos got big mouths, you know. I do. Yeah. If there's one thing I know. Okay, Bone Crow, we gotta get you into play, buddy. Um, let's just play an old salt. And when it I comes did, into play, place a wound token on it. Were you aware that they were going to print you on a card? <laughs> when it comes in. <laughs> it's not what you look like, but it's definitely the name I would give a card that is Steven. What is it? What was I called? Zen, Zen Gardener? That's way way cooler than Old Salt. Flesh and Blood saying, gotta love the Riz he showcases in the face of danger. <laughs> One damage to that thing when it comes into play. Oh, yeah, great. great. Two blood, two blood. We're, we basically already won. I mean, we're, we're cruising now, aren't we? I, yeah, I gave you plenty of time to set up your board, and now I'm going to have to rebuild. Okay, got the old salt in. Do I need any side actions? Side actions. Side actions. I think I'm cool for now. I'm cool. No side action needed. Okay. Roll time? Yeah, sure. Uh, basic and a five. Dude, we're crushing the basics this yeah. time around. I love it. Fate is... Reveal and attack. Shining. Oh, Oof. no. Speaking of fate. This is, this is a big, big boy. That jaguar is gone. Iron scales. Defender, unit will block for the chimera, uh, et cetera, et cetera. One damage at a time. Tax the it's leftmost fine. unit. I'm going to let it happen. I'll do one to it. And we're going to roast him with a frog in a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the frog's the roaster now. Not interesting. <laughs> You ever had frog, frog legs? Uh, no, but my grandpa used to eat them. Attack if able, if not. They come right like now. covered in chocolate. It's really strange. Really, I always heard they're supposed to be fried, and of course they taste like chicken, like everything else. Well, I'm sure everything is friable. Wow, this card was built to wreck old salt. What happened? 
It says, when this unit comes into play, destroy the opposing player's target leftmost unit with one or more wound tokens on it. It comes into play with a wound token on it. Mm -hmm. That's a bummer, man. But don't you get something on an ally that's playing? I do. I get a chance of transfusion. I can use that to move a wound token from a unit onto another unit. Yeah, Chaos Theory interaction that says, no, you can get it back with some damage. Yeah, I'm only going to take 20 more damage, and then I'm freaking dead. Oh, man. Okay. Did we do it? Are we done? Um... Random Steel doesn't have the Jaguar I died with the root armor, so... It took three. It takes two, because it has prevention of one. It had one on it, and it gets plus one life from the root armor. So it, it took two damage and had two life left. Yeah. Looks cooler than it is. Actually, root armor is really cool. Uh, over to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Um, and I use this. Um... I'm going to do this. I'm going to frog here. What's a turn in this game? Which is uh, a turn is this. A round is once we Both? reset. What's uh, like this says if a unit was destroyed this turn, Kamir just destroyed a unit of mine. Is it still this turn? <laughs> I think it's during your turn. Yeah, that's right, because there's a Chimera turn and a player turn. I'm going to put a damage here, because this thing is going away. And then... We're going to summon... Uh, where's that? Uh, I'm going to use one of these Mist Spirit spells. We're going to get two Mist Spirits. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. We're gonna get some we're gonna get some value out. Okay? We'll get a little value. Let's play a blood puppeteer. For one. Blood puppet onto the battlefield. Easy. Okay. Side action. Don't need it. Uh don't have it. Don't need it. Don't own it. Nope. All good. <laughs> Jason Lindley saying, where are my Randall fans at? What a time to be alive. Am I right? Yeah. This is all this is all totally fine. Okay, that's my turn. Alright. Uh Chimera Town. Basic and Let's a two. Let's go, basic. Basic and a two. Attack if able, if not reveal. We're revealing. Hunting instincts. After you destroys, after this destroys the unit, uh, I get Red Rain's token. So we would like to, to get that off the board, really. Yeah, but he's a dude. The Red Rains aren't falling today. That's right. They ain't even close. Look it, at us it go. It is a dry day Look in at Ashesville. Us go attack if able, if not reveal Whiplash. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. Oh, that stupid thing. Let's roll all these. Yeah, you sure, do sure, sure, sure. Just one. Acceptable. All right, Whiplash attacks the rightmost unit. It's a blood puppet. That seems fine. Fine by me. <laughs> that's a really good for this for these encounters. Maybe that's why they put him in the deck. Fascinating. Okay, over to us. Yep. Okay. I... Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Let me see. Two. Two. I can exhaust this thing so it doesn't strike us back. Love it. So I'm going to play a steady gaze. Put two exhaustion on it. And then my side action, I'm going to use a frog and do a damage here. Nice. Uh, which will be blood two to the... Blood two. Okay. As for me and my house... Um, let's go Phoenix Attendant, main action, here and here. Uh, and then we'll do a side action alleviate. If there are no wound tokens here, I can move one from my Phoenix Born to it. 
Thank you, Phoenix Attendant. That's awesome. And then I can send it with the chant. Very good stuff. All right. Uh, I will not roll because I don't have anything to review. But you'll attack. And you can't attack. Yeah. Let's do this. You got no cards? I'm, I've got two cards in hand. Oh, man. We're about to roll on a little pony. Uh-oh. A uh, 12. Place a red rain token on the Chimera. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And then reveal. And that's going to be his last roll, so we shouldn't get a red rain token anymore. Frozen fear. Okay. Now we've got ourselves something that's got to die. Okay. And once this is dead, we're free board. Yeah, we're just free and clear. Uh, so I basically have... I think I can do this myself. That thing? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. So there's an element of me that if this guy stays, he's still going to be exhausted? Or does mm -hmm. he clear all exhaustion? I assume it's just one. Just one, right? So Surely. Leaving him would give us one red rain token. But I've basically got two damage, and then I can hypothetically um, play two more Miss Spirits. So I got four damage on the table, five damage if you count uh, here. Okay. That all sounds good. Uh, I don't know what it means, though. I'm, I'm over here lost in the weeds. Yeah. Just know that I can do five damage. Okay, got it. All right, I'm gonna start with. Uh, let's do. Okay, we've got an infinite turn. No, no, no. This guy's got to go now. That's that's the key here. Yeah. This guy's got to go now. Uh, one anything you can attack. You may take an attack action. Right, 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 right. Okay. Sequencing, sequencing, sequencing. Let's go. Main action. Deal one damage to an unexhausted unit I control. Okay. Adds one to his attack value. It can attack, declaring it as the only attacker. Don't roll the guard. Four. Oof. Acceptable. Okay. So what happens? So two here. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. I gotta sequence that differently. Side action, remove one wound token here. Mm. Main action, wound token, swing for two, hit uh, for three. Because I forgot he's going to counter. So dead and dead. How many blood? Two. Better be. It thinks massive. Two. Okay. Done. Okay. Um, well, my action is going to be here. We're going to spend these to get two more Miss Spirits. Nice. Most little things that will die when like, AoE happens. Um, and actually, you know what? Let's do that differently. Um, Fascinating stuff, man. How much, how much damage done. do you have left? Okay, that is a great question, man. Uh, that is a great, really, really good one. Um, well, it's that kind weird, of decides I've got cyclical is. stuff going on. So in a world where I just do this, and then I do kill, crow, kill, crow. So I only can play two crows this turn. I've only got two allies, unless they recur. So that, and then we've got crow, crow. And we've got Puppeteer. And then we've got one die floating, which could be an exhaustion token to keep the red rains down. Which would require one meditation. I can meditate this Blood Crow. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. OK, so that means I've got one, two, three uh, damage, unless something ends up wounded in which I can add two more damage. Is anything three? So this is three. So I can punch it for one. We basically get free ran at this point. Yeah. So if I punch it for one, and then I've got three here that can go anywhere. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do it in sequence. My main action is going to be summon Bone Crow here. My side action is going to be meditate up 
here. Okay, then we do another round. Um, I'm gonna swing Bud Puppeteer into Whiplash. Wait, we still have guard rolls, right? Don't sleep on guard rolls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So when I try to attack here, gotta take roll. it. And instead of here, it actually goes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, you got plenty of shots at that, though. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, so well, and I need to make a decision on which one of these I spent earlier. So if I'm gonna end up, I can either do an extra damage directly, mm -hmm. or I can move two of those dice down to basics. Damage directly. Okay. Yeah. We'll come back. All right. So then I'll attempt to do this is not on it. One here again. Okay. So you can guard it. That's your main. Yeah. Did it. Okay. And then I'll take a main action. I'm going to swing Blood Puppeteer into Whiplash. Attempt the guard roll. Mm -hmm. One. Good. If it had guarded that, my entire plan is gone. Puppeteer does one. Whiplash is gone. That adds one blood. And then I can side action summon Bone Crow because the unit was destroyed. Mm. <laughs> and grab a crow. Okay. Actually, Ray, one of your unit is destroyed too. Ray Clark says Puppeteer lives. Bone Crow. Oh, right. Right. So you didn't lose. Hmm. Is there a way to kill this thing? Kill what thing? There's no way to kill this puppeteer. How much life does it have? I can shoot it with my nature die. I don't know. That seems wrong. How many crows does it get you? Can you kill something? Can something of yours? I don't think I can attack you. Golly. I can't kill this stuff. Oh, Bone Crow can come out from Whiplash dying. Oh, it is a unit. Love it. Okay. Yeah, so you keep your blood puppet so here, but then you kill the... Uh... Whiplash is gone. Okay. It is a unit. <laughs> it tracks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so now what are you doing with the Blood Crow? All right, so now we move on to the next spin around. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to swing two into Hunting Instincts. Roll that guard roll. Oh, this is gone. Roll that guard roll, okay? Good. So he goes... Two in, and the Blood Crow remains. And then Blood 2. Side action, Summon Bone Crow. Do you have another uh, D6 over there? Yeah. What's it need to be at? One? One. Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to attempt Miss Spirit into Rampage. Or I'm going to go here because we definitely need to get Rampage off. So if I miss, you can just punch here with something. Bone Crow here. Or are you only doing one damage? I'm going to do one and then one. Okay, uh, I'm going to go so here. So two total. Let's, let's go Rampage. Got him. Got him. So we're going to get it. One and one, we're going to clear up. Assuming he doesn't guard us. Yeah. I still have a guaranteed one at the end, so. Okay. Then you do your thing. Over to me. Um, let me go and just get on board here. Jason Lindley, Bone Crows feeding Bone Crows. You love to see it. Jason Lindley also saying, side note, if you guys actually win this game, I'm going to be so ticked. <laughs> blood Puppeteer. <laughs> uh, creates a Blood Puppet. Uh, and then I can technically wipe it from the board. No, I can't. It's just going to deal damage to me. I'm just going to have to accept that reality. But it's going to have a value. The blood Puppet is going to deal damage to you? Yeah, because I can't I can't get it off my board. Blood Puppeteer brings it in on my side. Mm. And then if I kill Blood Puppeteer, I can throw it on the opponent's side. But I can't die. I can't kill this unit. I can kill it instead? As opposed to, what What do you... Hmm. It's basically trading one damage for... Yeah. That's probably worth it. I mean, you only have six health left. Hey, hey, hey. Uh... Let's go one into... Hey, now. Let's go one into uh, Rampage. I guess it won't matter, right? Roll that eye. I mean, it does, because we we definitely want him off the table. Got him. You got him. Blood Two one. blood? One, one blood. blood. How much blood? One blood. One blood. Okay. Look at this board, though. Woo! All right. And then I'll swing uh, Blood Puppeteer in at Firebelly. Okay. Got it. Good die, good die, good die. I'll swing here. Yes! And blood one. 
And then feel free to kill blood puppets here if you would. Yeah, let's meditate. Um, and then... Actually, I have to pass. Do you have an action? Hmm. Yeah, I can swing at the Chimera with Blood Puppet. Great. Then comes back around to us, and I'll do one to your thing. You can swing with a zero attack, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you just punch the air. All right, that puts Blood Puppet on their side, and Blood Puppet's here in the garbage. All right, and then I'll do one with Noah's side action. To remove the red ring? Boom. All right, end of turn. Yeah. Walk, walk us through it. Okay, hold on, I'll get the book. We're gonna get the book. Recover as normal. Remove one from everything. Remove one here for one red rains. Okay. Exhaust dice as normal. Good. These are good dice. I'm a ceremonial man. <laughs> I'm so not though. I see exactly how these are all supposed to play, and it's yeah, like stacks on stacks. Disgusting. You can recur everything, and then ah, uh, you get butterfly monks out. But there, someone was saying you could heal me with them. That's cool, but of course you won't. Yeah. Place her drains on the chimera for each aspect in play. There is zero. <laughs> Replenish aspects. Add face down aspects to the chimera's battlefield. What happens when this runs out? Fatigued. We flip this over. Can I go left to right? And we reshuffle. Um, when he runs out, that's bad for him, right? The second time he runs out for two player, it's really good for us. Yes, bad for him. I guess same idea. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Replenish any status tokens. We don't need to. And then at the end of the round, uh, the first player token, when the first player token is passed to the Khmer, pointed to the player who did not have it. Uh, so it takes one damage, courtesy of my blood puppet, and it sticks around, yeah? Just going to put that like that. It doesn't clear at the end of the round? I don't think so. It's only when it is ultimate fires. Is it just the ultimate? I could have sworn it said that it did that every time. Yeah, it's just it's just the these, ultimate. These clear every time. Do they though? They don't. No, they don't. They don't. None of it no, does. Specifically... No, nothing clears. It's the ultimate that clears it. Yeah. Dude, so I could just stack up blood puppets and keep Noah, keep him from getting red rains, and then just dunk. Interesting. 10, right. 20, 5, 9. We're almost halfway there. Yeah, this goes to you. Well, and we actually have a open board with stuff on the table as well. So this is our moment. This is the moment. I'm going to put my blood puppy here. I just want us to remember that it's there. OK, let's try a new hand. Hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh. Come on. This card is awesome, man. I think I'm going to summon a butterfly monk. Oh, what a hand. What a hand. What a mighty, mighty hand. Here for protection. And then I will go ahead and shifting mist into two frogs for control. For control? I have all good cards. I love these cards. Well, I can't. We have to wait till stuff's on the table. Yeah. Because I'll ping them with a mist spirit and you'll eat them with the crow. OK. You know what? And actually, I'm going to do one frog and one wolf so that I can move two of those dice down. It. How close am I to dying, really? Should I hold off using my ability a bunch? Probably. I, I think at this point, if we just keep clearing the board, we'll win. Well, I mean, yeah. Like, we have enough but... bodies on the table that we should be able to clear anything that comes up. I'm only swinging at one. I'm swinging in one. Does it have plus value? Only if they're wounded. Yeah, I mean, that's what the Mist is for. So we can kill one thing I of every, two. Every round, that's easy. <laughs> we got it. Um, okay, well, I've got to play something. Where's the beef? Hmm. 
It's a good question. <laughs> I need things to die. Like I, I, I actually have a missed typhoon, which is one damage to all units, uh, all opponents units. So opponents we, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You're sure it says it that. Says all opponents units. Yeah. Not nature's wrath. Uh, no, no. Okay. Um, so if we can just stall them long enough and let them exhaust, like I can block with this thing if they're attacked. Like, and then. One to all of them, and then we can just. But feast. it's going to drop the thing that does one to everything on our side of the board, and we're going to lose literally seven yeah, units, we gotta, eight units. We're going to lose eight units. We got to use them as we go. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so I can take a damage to play something. That's good. I think that's fine. It is fine, isn't it? I'll start using my butterfly monks to heal you. Side, <laughs> sure. Side, side action, <laughs> Phoenix attendant in the hand, courtesy of ceremony. I want I, to win, but I want to win at a point where you have one health. You know what I mean? <laughs> main action, Phoenix attendant here. All right. He's okay. beefy. Yeah, he's beefy, and he can soak one wound back, so it's like an infinite loop. We like that. For a 1-4 body. Right. Come here, Tom. Yeah. You're the first player, so we'll let you roll first. Cool. All right, this is a red rain token. Yeah, it's fine. Let's just put it here. Okay. Uh, and then seven, I deal the damage to the opposing player's target Phoenix Born. That's the one I don't want. I really could only, use. Only so many sevens can get <laughs> <away with laughs> that one. Uh, and then, uh, and then what happens? Is that probably reveal? I would guess, yeah. Reveal. Present fear. Oh, my turn. Perfect bone crow target. Seven. All right, cool. So you do the same thing. Take a damage and reveal. Haunting instincts. He's got to stick it. What's it say? If he destroys the unit, I get, we get a red rain token. Okay. It's fine. All right. Here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I think I exhaust this guy twice. <laughs> okay. And then I can ping your guy to give him one damage. And, and then we bone lightning. crow no guard. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy. So we'll steady gaze. Use two masks. Exhaust this guy. Then I will use the frog. And do damage here. All right. I did my job. You did it. But <laughs> your job didn't require a guard roll. Hey. Bone Craig gonna swing in there. We'll swing in with this one. Yeah, definitely the right choice. Left crow, not right crow. You know what I mean? Here we go. Easy. It's a 66% chance. Ah. Uh, it still does one. He's wounded. Wait. If it is, add one to the attack while for the remainder of the turn if it's targeting a card with any wound tokens on it when it's declared. So that's two damage to the. Yeah, it's just two damage. That's two damage to the body. All right, we'll get him next time. We'll yeah, get him next time. time. We'll get him next time. We got another Bone Crow waiting in the wings there. Right. Totally fine. And then I will side action Phoenix Attendant to move a wound to it. Ah, oh, yes. You can do that forever. Only if it's no wound tokens on. But then we send it with a chant once an ally has died. There's a lot of moving parts. Wow. It's, it's more than I'm asking for, honestly. <laughs> it's a, what do you call those complex machines that do simple things? Rue Goldberg. Yeah, <laughs> it, it really is, is man. It really is. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm moving one damage. Meanwhile, all you look over your opponent and they're like molten gold. <laughs> Okay, uh, die roll to us. Yeah. I'll let you go since you're the first player. Thanks, I guess that is how that should work. Very kind of you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, we didn't kill this thing, so... He might attack you. We can block. With something that's got two life. Yeah, this one. Yeah, it's fine. Did his job. 12 and a basic. Oh, 12's got Place of red range, that's fine. Uh, and then reveal. Firebelly. Declared, deal one to all units. He's got to go. And Phoenix born, the opposing player controls. This can't attack. He's got we, to go. We can't let it happen. Man. Mine. Yours. An eight. Good. Deal the damage to your Phoenix born and reveal a card. My goodness. These burn, these burn players are awful. Whiplash. When it comes into play, destroy the opposing player's target leftmost unit with one or more wound tokens on it. You cannot deal damage to the player's target leftmost unit. Easy. Fine. Okay. Cover them up. Okay. Well, you need to deal with our problems again? <laughs> <laughs> Do 
you want me to try to crow it? Just see what happens? Yeah, crow this thing. Yeah. I, we can't let this trigger, so I'm going to use my side action on that. OK, yeah. So just clear yeah, it? Yeah, it can't. It can't yeah, and then I'm going to attempt to punch this with a Miss Spirit. OK. OK. Make sure I'm not missing anything here. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, let's bone crow here. Yeah. Roll them up. Two attack, easy mode. Got him. <laughs> Two blood. Oh. Let's go to some there. Two blood in. Now, a unit has been destroyed, so I could get another crow here. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we is a great question, Zach. I appreciate that. Yeah. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Dude. In the age of the crow, crow on, I say. It is a crow's age. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> I, I do love these bone crows. I got to yeah, tell you, yeah. that's the kind of there's, tier there's, two that I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> there's ways to build ceremonial that aren't as uh, Rue Goldberg. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go Miss Spirit here, attempting it. You got it. It's an eight. Nailed it. Yeah. So Favorable dive. Blood us. one, blood one. Blood oh, one. right, right. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I thought they were just like a rally cry. <laughs> blood one, blood, blood, <laughs> blood one. Blood one, blood one. Uh, we're going to side action. We're going <laughs> to do two damage to the fire belly for another blood one. Wait, what did you just do? Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, look at us go. Yeah. It would just like great. clear your board, which is too, not not good. What's up, Chaos Terry? We're, it's going well. We're, I, we're on a tear. Uh, we can't be stopped at this point. Why are we just going asking how many crows can you have? You can have a murder of crows. Um, now, bone crow, you can have four. Says it on the bottom left of that. Yeah, you can have one murder of them. <laughs> exactly. Good joke. <laughs> Starman said, Great to get back from having my two year old grandson, Zach, for the day to my other favorite pastime, Ashes Reborn. Your other favorite, Zach, is what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> Uh, you where, where, oh, you and a two-year-old playing some Masters Reborn, it writes itself. It's going to be a great time, surely, right? You, here, <laughs> this is something that, speaking of grand anything, um, it, I've been watching uh, the show Modern Family. Yeah. And two of the ma main characters uh, are parents in the show. And then their oldest kid is Tracks. having a kid, so they're becoming grandparents. But the terrifying thing about that to me was the the people who are becoming grandparents in my mind are like my oldest brother's age. Yeah. Which is true. It's like, wait a second. <laughs> like, I'm actually a stone's throw from people that I that are similar age. I'm nowhere near being a grandparent myself. Mm -hmm. But like in a decade, I could easily have been a grandparent. Yeah. If I'd had a kid young enough. Yeah. Which is crazy. It just really hit me. It was last night. I saw that. Like, it was happening. I was just like... Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. As an example, my oldest brother's oldest kid is currently in Ireland on a band trip, but he is about to be 16. Mm-hmm. So, technically, my brother in two or three years could... Eat, I mean, even now could even, even now, be... Yeah, but in two or three years, particularly, uh, it's crazy to think that my brother that's could be wild. a grandpa. Yeah. Huh. Like, we're at that age. Interesting. That is really wild. Right? Like, Daniel could be a grandpa soon. Yeah. It's not. Old Grandpa Daniel. It's not. I'll be sure to tell him that that's what I'm going to call him. Yeah, old Gramps. I can't wait. And, yeah, he's actually turning 40 soon. So you still have his toes, or did he lose him in the triathlon? I just, he just lost the toenails for the, yeah, right the mega marathon. Okay. Um, okay, I was saying my oldest daughter will be graduating high school and I'm 42. Pretty crazy. Yeah. That is the math. We just did our stuff. I summoned the bone crow. We got to do the bad stuff. Yeah. What did you do on your turn? You did the, the water blast. Three. Three's yeah, good. Three and a basic. Come on. Attack if able, if not reveal. Whiplash. When it comes to play, destroy the uh, leftmost unit with one or more wound tokens. Phoenix attendant. No. Mm, bummer. That whiplash, man. But hey, it'll get you. Chanter transfusion gets a bobble. Do we know what happens when the uh, Randall's exhausted? Randall himself? When his deck runs out again. Do we know what that means? I've never gotten there, but it's good for us, I think. Yeah, we're normally winning by that point. All right, nine. I think I'm going to take another direct damage. Deal damage to the opponent's Venus born and reveal. I, I was saying I would use the Butterfly Monk on you, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a prediction. Just, just to be clear. All right, we're going to reveal a Frozen and Fear. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got to go. 
But the problem is everything has to go, isn't it? Everything does have to go, yeah. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, well, so how are you going to contribute to your own success there? <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> Just as an idea, I, I have I have some I have some I have things I can do. I mean, I can punch it with a misspirit and you could then crow it. Attempt to crow it. That's two attempts. <laughs> yes, that's two attempts. There was an attempt. <laughs> um I've got two guaranteed damage. One and one. That means one guard roll means we get it. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about me using my one damage to everything on the table card? Everything on the table? What? All the opponent's things on the table. Oh, that's acceptable. Because it would clear this, it would put one here to set up your crow, and it would put one here to set up a future crow. Yeah, where you got crows in different area codes. That sounds like a... <laughs> <laughs> different area crows. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I could also just wait and let more things get on the table. Well, we're just waiting to get us dead. Actually, no, I I, I appreciate the waiting, because I've got two ones here, and those are going to be weenies. Yeah. So I'm, should we wait? I do not have two ones, though. No, you got dads. I've got problems. So maybe... The good thing about the good thing about the play you're thinking of making, although you could just do that with a frogger. Now you don't have a frogger. I, I think what I should do is use a misspirit to attack here. Well, if this thing attacks me, um, it's I only I can't, attacking. I can't. What the, the trigger is only when he attacks, not when he counters. If that yeah, matters. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just think I, I can't block him because he's terrifying. I was gonna say I could just block it with a thing, but I can't. Yeah, so that's a problem. So I've got two no guard roll here. Or I've got two off a of bone crow if it's injured with a guard roll, and then I get a side action. What if we did the two? Well, we gotta see if the guard roll lands. You know, I was gonna say we could do the two first, and if that is happening, then it's really easy for me to do one with now a guard roll. Without a guard roll. Well, the two like, is guaranteed. There's no, there's no guard roll involved in the two. Oh, well, if you have a two guaranteed, I have a one to everything guaranteed. I've got a two guaranteed. And you've I, got a one guarantee. I feel like I'm not as worried about these because I have so many of these things to spit out. Yeah, right on. Okay, well, let's just do the guaranteed then. Okay. We'll yeah. start here. Old Salt. Coming in. Knife and a basic. Comes into play with one wound token on it. Comes into play, deal of damage here. Got him. Then I'll use the Chant of Transfusion as a side action. Remove a status token. Remove a wound from a target unit. Put it on another unit. Yeah, you will. All right, we're going to use a Mist Typhoon. It's a mask and a leaf. We're going to do one damage to all of the opponent's units. So this will clear. This will take one. That will clear. Blood, How much blood we got? Blood two. Like two total? Uh, no, two on mine. So one three, on total. three total. This also lets me draw a card. Cool. Uh, this is a great comment there from Justin. Did you see that? Love mm -hmm. you guys. Hey, love you too. Thanks for being here. Recently got into Ashes as my first ever LCG. Now I'm super into Arkham Horror as well, so I've been binging your content. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Man, getting into Ashes and then PvE solo for Ashes and then Arkham Crazy. It's like yeah. killer. What uh, I'm curious, as a, a more recent watcher uh, of the content, what's been your favorite so far? What do you What do you enjoy most about it, if you're willing to share? Uh, bad guy things? Bad guy things. Could be the honors. I don't like the five. Uh, five's fine. Reveal, attack with revealed. Okay. Rampage. Two to the rightmost is totally acceptable. Taken. <laughs> you can counter. I can counter. You just take them off the board. Yeah, I probably should do that. Without even wasting time. Yeah, no time wasted. Boom. Blood one. Boom, blood one. Right? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> That was a great exchange. Yeah, that I was love a, that exchange. That was a great little moment, I actually. Love that yeah, it's fine. Uh, basic and a 10. Old Sauce is the best, man. <laughs> Especially if you have that transfusion going on. Uh, 10. Raise two basic rage die one level. Well, well we there's can't. only one. We can't. There's only right, one. Great. So Perfect. definitely it doesn't keep going. I would agree. I think it does, though. It's real. called the Statues of Limitations. <laughs> I think it goes. I think it goes up. I think it's. Uh, rules one. check. Rules <laughs> check. I don't think that's how it goes. I don't think. And then reveal a card. 
Oh, wait, 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 this is a catastrophe. So, East Night Miss Typhoon only hits my units, but it says deal one damage to all opponent's units. Yeah, apparently there's a rule about it. That seems... Why did you have to make a rule about that? It was so much better otherwise. It seems... This just feels wrong. Is there anything else you can do that can make you do one? Nick Conley says they do continue, so I was wrong about that, too. <laughs> We gotta get through. We gotta get all the do all the stuff wrong so everybody knows. When resolving an area of effect that affects each, every, all something in play, it only affects your own battlefield and the opposing Chimera's battlefield, and also it hurts your opponent's units as well. Doesn't say that. So let's back it up. Your guy that I destroyed doesn't get destroyed. That's how we destroy them. Yeah. So that's one blood less. This is this guy. And then the thing that got destroyed on my side is this thing. Would still get destroyed. You've done two of it. I'm just trying to decide if it's, that's the right way for me mm -hmm. to do this. And this doesn't exist yet. So I rolled it back. And then let me just see. Because I think in this case, I would rather just risk swinging at it. Yeah, I think it's fair. Save the card, save the resource, and put the card I drew back. Guard roll it. Got it. So the blood goes back if, we, if you remove that. Blood goes back. I didn't remove the blood. Okay, great. I remove that blood. And you, you kill a Miss Spirit's dead. Yeah. Okay. We did it. And then if this is the case, then what I'm going to do is when this thing reveals and attacks me, I'm going to play. Shadow Blade. Cost me one basic. Okay. After a player declares attackers, draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Deal one damage to a target unit opponent controls. This one. Boom. One blood back on the board. And then deal one damage to another target unit opponent controls. Sweet. We're kind of back where we started then. And then it comes to our, our turn. Shadow Blade is the best, man. Uh, I didn't reveal anything. Oh, you haven't done I, that I haven't yet. Done this yet. You haven't done that yet. Okay. Three and a basic. Easy. Attack if able, if not reveal. <clears throat> Iron Scales. Just the defendy guy. Yeah. Okay. Easy peasy. Well. I think I'm going to attempt to attack Iron Scales, and then if that hits, I'm going to play the Mist Typhoon and do one to both of them. I can play clean up on that. If I do one, can you clean it up? If you do one there, exactly. Mm -hmm. Or what are you cleaning up, I guess? <laughs> Let's go back as a... <laughs> you know what I mean? What, what exactly I mean. are you cleaning up? Okay, well, let me let me give you a little... So I've got I've got one good damage. Like one auto damage? It's real good. I've got one uh I've got one really good damage. Or I've got two damage, but it could be a lot more than two damage, you know what I'm saying? Does that track? What makes it variable? The amount of wound tokens on my side of the board. For every one of those, I would get to do a damage. So is it better for me not to, for you to deal, take three from this guy in some manner? I'm not taking three from that. I'm just saying, well, like some, if you had, you don't have a beefy. I was, you had a four health guy earlier. So like if you punched here, you would take three. And then you'd have more wound tokens to. Here's the deal. If you if you go there and the guard roll is good, I'll play the old salt, uh, throw a wound on it, we'll kill it, and I'll have another wound token on the board. All right. That's a deal. I'm gonna attempt to punch here. That's my, my guarantee to you. Got Beautiful. Him. Okay, then we will play one, three, four, five, six. My battlefield seven. Play an old salt. Uh -huh. When it comes to play, put a wound token on it, and when it comes to play, deal of damage there. Sweet. It's dead. Oh, blood two. Blood two. Actually, five yeah. and one. Wow, we need more dice. 
Look at us. Told you, man, we turned the corner. We have turned the corner. Okay, everything's cool. Now we could we could summon another crow here, but we're not. All right. I don't want no crow. <laughs> crow, crow is a guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Nine. That's oh the no, damage that's the direct one. damage one. No, stop, stop. Yeah. Burn player. Reveal. Fire belly. Yeah, when it's fine. declared as an attacker, deal damage to everything. That would be so bad for me. Please don't let that attack someone. Out. A two. Two and two. Attack if able, if not reveal. We okay. pulled so many basics this this round. Yeah, we're crushing. Iron scales again. Okay. All right, and then we're free and clear, man. No more rolls. Dude, we're we're totally free and clear right now. You wouldn't even believe how free and clear we are. So I've got three damage right here. No rolls, no nonsense. This thing's got to go, clearly. Yeah. So I can do one and one. Without even thinking? Without thinking. Okay, that's easy. Then we got a bunch of rolls to get that thing off the board. Yeah, so let's start there. Miss Typhoon, we'll draw the card. Spend here and here. And then it's one to each of them. That's your main action here. Mm. This is the damage. Wow, dude, where? Are, oh, here they are. All right, and then I'll take an action. action yeah. Blood brawl, pay one. Resolve the following for each wound token: deal one damage to your target unit and opponent controls. So deal one, mm -hmm. deal one, deal one. Okay, blood two from my side and blood one here. So three blood come in. Okay. Now we've got just nothing but net here. Yeah. Um, so let's start with blood puppets here into hunting and scenes. Yeah, that's right. I guess, sure. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Done. Dead. Blood two? Blood two. He's about to be exhausted too. You guys hear that sound? The sound of the pain train coming into the station. <laughs> Do choo. Choo choo. <laughs> mm hmm. I had no doubts at any point at all in this stream. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to meditate with a card from hand. We're going to turn this into a leaf. Um, and then my main action is going to be. A massive growth on my butterfly monk. Oh, hello. Whoa, really? <laughs> Let's go, dude. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, really. Uh, so that was my action. Okay. Really? I'm going to go... Told you that pain train was coming to town. Serve the city. Deal one damage to an unexhausted unit, which is old salt. And then it gets plus one attack. And I'm going to swing at the chimera for three. Get him. Ding, ding, ding. Over to you. Uh, I'm going to swing at the Chimera for five. It's a fresh dice. <laughs> it's a whole die. Okay, let's swing at Chimera for one. Uh, I'm going to use my last die to summon a Miss Spirit. 55 of 70. I'm going to swing one more. Okay. All right, Kamira. Who's laughing now? Who's laughing now? You, you got anything else? You got, a, you got a crow. Crow for one. Doesn't it get plus because he's wounded or something? I think it's only units, not Phoenix mm. Horn. Yeah, unit. Uh, if it's targeting a card with any wound tokens on it. It's a card with a wound token, bro. These bone crows are, can crush the Chimera. Yeah. It's, I mean, he's being built for that. You always have a target that's wounded, basically. Super cool. Okay. End of the round? End of the round. This goes away. Dude, look at this board. Yeah. It's it's nice design, because like technically if, if the Chimera doesn't hit the ultimate on the first turn, he has an advantage up front because you're building. And the second turn, you're if you can turn the corner, you go into the third turn ahead, 
But then a lot of times by then is when he's actually hitting his ultimate, and then he does a lot of mean things to you. Yeah, we got all that out of the way early. We did get all that out of the way early. Like, like a bunch of geniuses. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't actually want this card. Don't deck yourself. Don't deck yourself. Don't deck yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> or you should deck yourself before you wreck yourself, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. I know what you mean. That was a heck of a roll. Uh, is it the Chimera again, this first player, or does it go back to me? Is it like a circle or it's, a back and forth? It's Chimera, us, Chimera, us, Chimera, right, us. So Chimera's first this time. Pretty sure, yeah. Now we're going to refill this board, but I think you might run out of cards. Oh, that's good. What does that say? So one. I think we go back and forth technically. Yeah. Two, three. Four, Dude, you giving me all the dads. Five. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Hey, I had Come a on, last man. time. So there's four and four, but he's out of cards. Okay. The Chimera is fatigued. The Chimera cannot draw cards. Its draw pile is empty. After one or more cards are discarded off the top of its draw pile, place one moon token on the Chimera for each discarded card. What about each card it couldn't put into play? I think it, it would take two damage right now. Yeah. I mean, it's already an advantage for us because there's only four cards. But then once we beat all these up, we just he doesn't have anything left. It's over tank. forever? Wait, no, 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 wait. Set this card by the Chimera and then shuffle the Chimera's discard pile to create a new draw pile. Gotcha. Set all rage dice to their basic side. Yeah, dude. Nice. So I should have read the card. The Chimera is fatigued when resolving. The Chimera cannot draw cards. Its draw pile is considered to be empty. So if I had things that like abundance that made it draw, after one or more cards are discarded off the top of its draw pile, place one wound token on the Chimera for each discarded card. So if I had a card that milled cards from the top, mm -hmm. it would it would rock. Do we keep filling this board? Yes. Yeah, you do. You know you do. So really, for us, this is really never going to matter, unless we had mill decks. Mm. But it gives us a little benefit where uh, we get to lower all the rage dice to this side. Uh, fatigue, uh, Nick says, if this, is this the second time through? The fatigue yeah. card is double-sided. Yeah, it's the second time through. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't draw to hurt us, right? I don't know. Surely not. It doesn't say it. I mean, it could be at this point every card that he does anything with, he's taking the damage. So like, he might take two there. But it says he cannot draw cards, so he wouldn't refill the board. That's crazy. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's first this time. Dun, so, dun, there dun. You go. Oh, wait, I need to draw. That's a one, right? Well, that's a reroll. Whatever it is for you. Four. Attack if able, if not reveal. Acceptable. Hunting instincts. Destroy something, place a red rains token. Okay, fine. Oh, I need to refill my dice too. A three and a basic. Oh, I got recover ones here too. A three is a attack available of not reveal. Dude, look at this roll. Oh man, all knives, man. <laughs> it's the oh. knives out roll. <laughs> Rampage. He's got to go. How much damage do we have to do? One, two, three, four, five, fifty-eight. Too short of sixty right now. So twelve. We need twelve damage. Can I send everything at the Chimera? <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. Something about these things being in play matters. I think. Yeah, like the cards that drive the game. I don't know, though. Targeting the Chimera is analogous to targeting the Phoenix Board. Declare attackers. Choose any number of unexhausted units you control. Nick Connie says, sure can. Declare blockers. Unexhausted units with Defender on the opposing battlefield block. Resolve uh, battles. Resolve each battle in the order of your choice. Unblocked attackers battle the Chimera. So otherwise you just swing. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's your short one. But you've got one, surely. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> swing. Batter, batter. I'm swinging with everything at the Chimera for 11 damage. All right, load them up. <laughs> load them up. <laughs> Saddle up, partner. There's seven. There's 11. I particularly like this positioning <laughs> because if we defeat him and we have to face oh, off, no, you're, you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> I forgot, it's, uh, I'm not playing a team game. <laughs> 
You bamboozled me. Well, you're the guy with 12 on the board. I can't do anything about that. All right. Just remember my noble sacrifice here. Yeah. All right. So my misfit is one, <laughs> is one left, right? So we'll finish it with the misfit. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, so what Nick happens now? loses again. Um, we roll one of we these? We beat the Chimera. First of all, that was excellent. Yeah. That's the most fun Ashes I've played. Uh, in the sense that it's actually fun. It's not as viscerally cerebral as an a PvP Ashes game, which is fun in its own way. Uh, but it, it achieves the kind of co-op awesomeness with the puzzle in front of you so well. Yeah. Super, super good. Yeah, it is very good. I, I like as well... So we were on a Corset Precon and the Corpse of Eros Precon from the Red Rains box, or the Corpse of Eros box. And... The there's definitely a lot of places we could have been worse and made mistakes and even little things we were missing throughout the whole thing. But the fact that it's playable and in this fashion with such little guard pools yeah. is very important. Because yes. a new player buys the master set in this, that needs to be a good experience. Yeah, this is better. This is uh, I won't say better, I guess, but it's comparable, if not better, than both Arkham and Marvel out of the core set. I mean, the, Arkham out of the core set. Oh, I haven't done the revised. The revised the same old scenarios. That weird uh, one. The third one's really questionable. The witch one. The yeah, witches. that one was weird. So, yeah, I mean, the Arkham campaigns are a totally different. Yeah. Lane, but in terms of just a champions, it's equivalent to champions out of the core set. Yeah, easily. You feel good about it. You feel like you have a lot of agency. You can start deck building and messing with stuff. Mm -hmm. The enemy you could play over and over and over again. Super, super yeah. good. And you have the different aspects and the different difficulty levels. So that's all. That's all really good. All right, now we go Highlander style. So what happens? We roll this. We roll this, and if it's a red reins, we fight each other. It's not. Yeah, so we both dude. win. <laughs> nice. 